what up thank you guys so much for joining in today today we're back with another firmware software update for the mpc 2.6 there's been a recent update of both firmware and software um there's a bunch of new things that they added i personally believe that some of it is uh could have been implemented in the MPC software um, in brand music and Akai they keep dropping the ball um, in some cases I'll show that when I go over to the software uh, let's just touch on some of the things that they they've added so in the firmware there's the grid automation step automation um this support for up to eight sub mixes in the standalone version of the mpc x and mpc live um that's something that should have been there but now we have the eight sub mixes um and then the ty layouts for the vintage effects that's also updated um when you go to download your software and firmware if you got the email where is that so this came from the email right so you would select this it'll bring you to the the mpc of your choice or the Akai force you hit downloads when you get in here it's a little bit like okay you say MPC 2.6 but the 2.5 is the first thing that you see you got to scroll down and right here you have the firmware updates for Mac Windows and a USB you could download it and put it on a USB stick attach it directly to your mpc and you're good to go with that um so some of the things that they they've implemented was where we at the step automation you can now input edit and view automation in the step sequencer press the menu button and choose step sequencer that's how you get to it um grid automation some of the things that's in the step sequencer you can do in grid automation and vice versa um they they also added the ableton live set at export um, I don't use Ableton Live like that, so I'm not going to really touch on that. But one of the things that they added was you're able to export as an ALS and open uh, your project file that you was working on and standalone or in the software and open that into um, Ableton. You don't have to export the stems and drag the stems in. You can just open it directly. So for the Ableton users, that's that's cool. Um, workflow enhancements in sample record mode. After recording a sample, the uh, the keeper discard sample pop-up now has f keys to save or edit your sample which simply means that when you uh you go to sample edit you could record something and when you record it discard keep edit and save when you hit save it takes you to where you want to save it if you want to save it inside the project or if you want to put it to 
an external hard drive or to a folder of your choice you could do that now before you couldn't do that so that's kind of cool um so uh that's that and then what else time correction can now be applied to all tracks all right we'll get into that uh okay so let's get into the the software so time correction When you hit the uh, the time correction, you're now able to do the same things that you were able to do prior to this update, but you now can apply it to all tracks instead of just by pad. You could do your same selected all or the range but they added all tracks as well. Um, so that's cool. So I was working on this track right here. Let's solo. Let's solo this hi hat. And we're now in grid mode, right? So these are the functions that are you're able to edit and automate one thing that I notice is that if I go on grid mode and I add a new parameter it adds it here but it don't pop on the software automatically when you see it is when you actually right so it doesn't pop automatically and vice versa with it here so if I was to put it, use the computer to bring it up. It pops on here, but it it like it doesn't automatically once you select it, pull it in. Pause. So that's cool that that's actually working now. It's almost identical to what you see on the software. It's almost identical on your MPC X and MPC Live. So the big whoop de doo is the step sequencer. Um, this is why I had tweeted out that the MPC points two point six is like a waste of time, space, and energy in a way because they added it the same sequence the same functionality in two different areas um which to me it makes no sense but there's one thing that you can do inside of the step sequencer that you can't do in the grid edit and that's basically you can select the area the bars that you want to uh automate or edit 
So pad three parameters tuning. So I switch that to tuning. You still don't see it here, right? But I'm on pad, I'm on bar eight. So right here, and I'll enlarge this so you guys can see it. I'm at this section right here. The cool thing is that you can hit the, the pad. And as you can see, it changes right here. And then if you want to erase it, it's gone, right? So that's kind of cool. So I kind of see the use of the step sequencer. Um, I myself have, this is probably the fourth time that I've opened up the step sequencer um, since I've owned the MPC Live for the, the past two years. Uh, yeah. I don't really use the step sequencer. I don't use it at all. But now that we have these functions, I may use it a little bit more. But I can do all of the same things in the grid edit. So it's pretty much like um, it's it's pretty much the same. All right. So the other thing that they added was. If you copy the sequence, you're now able to rename the sequence to whatever you want to name it to. So it still goes to the, the first open sequence or blank unused sequence. Um, you would change the name right here before you copy it. Let's name it hook. Do it. As you can see, it added it right here. And it's right here. Right? All right. Let's undo that. All right, so the other, and they also did it for the track as well. So if you, you could do the same, rename the track to the first unused track, same thing. All right, some of the other things that they added was, what else they added? They implemented the, the look of the, the icons in the main um the menu they look similar to what it looks like in the akai force a lot of people were saying you know what's up the npc was out before the akai force and the akai force is on npc software 3.3 when the npc live and npc x is on 2.6 i digress though they also updated the icons here in the software as well um that's pretty much all of the major hoopla right they also added the submixes like i said to the uh the mpc standalone but what i haven't what they did not add was the read and write automation function 
to the submix, right? Or the returns. So you still can't automate on the submix, which makes no sense to me, right? They also added some new MIDI functions. We'll get into that in a later video. Um, but that's pretty much it for me for this uh, this update. I'm just happy that uh, the submixes is in standalone mode. That's the biggest thing for me. Uh, as far as the the functions right here to to automate and edit right here, that was already there. Um, I guess by them adding it to the step sequencer, they made it more useful uh, for the people who use step sequencing. Um, yeah, this this was uh, a well needed update. But one thing they still haven't added is Elastic Pro, the time stretch mechanism. They still haven't added that to standalone. Um, we'd love to see that being added as well. Uh, the time stretch mechanism is not on par with the likes of many other major DAWs out there. Um, and it works good in the software, but in the standalone, the time stretch is not it, right? There's a few other things that they they can add, but again, I don't work for in brand. I'm not on the beta test team for Akai, so I can just shoot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Keep throwing darts until they stick eventually, like the submix. They finally added it. I hope in the, within the next update, they add uh, the automation to the submixes, right? So that's pretty much it, man. Um, as time pro progresses and I get more familiar with the software, the new updates, all the features, I'll do more videos showcasing the exacts right this was kind of like just touching on some of the things the things that stood out to me mostly um outside of that you know what it is man do remember that music is life it is our dna keep banging peace love light till next time hopefully akai gets it right before <laughs> 2.7. I see a lot of people saying that they exiting. Um, but uh, yeah, man, love and light. Peace. Peace.